Jen. Uh, every day I tell you two things. You're my best friend and I love you. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> Uh, today is no different, except I'm saying it in front of everyone we know. <laughs> when I think of you and us and everything that we have built and have, two pop culture quotes come to mind. It's from the great Leslie Nope and Ben Wyatt, who say, I love you and I like you. The second comes from our pal, who is here, who's there, who's every everywhere, Roy Kent, who says, you deserve someone who makes you feel like you've been struck by lightning. Don't you dare settle for fine. So our second child was due to arrive towards the end of September 1991. Debbie goes into labor two weeks early. And then, boom, Debbie gives birth to a beautiful baby girl. She is our favorite daughter. So. so as most of you know, I met Nikki freshman year of college at Clemson when we lived on the same floor. And I knew we would be friends for life when we shared bunk beds and a closet we still wanted to hang out every single day. She's patient, she's loving, she's vulnerable, she's a dedicated friend and partner, and she's honest. It's really hard to put into words how important you are to me. Looking back, every step of the way, Evan and I tended to follow in Jeff's footsteps. And no matter where we went, we were always treated well because we were Jeff Flax's younger brother. When Nikki and Jeff first started hanging out, Nikki was living at home with her parents. As you may know, Nikki's dad was also the president and CEO of the company that Jeff works for. So naturally, Jeff asked Nikki on a date. <laughs> Quite a dangerous game you played there, Jeff. But seeing that we're all here, it's clear that it paid off. Bill, thanks for not firing Jeff. So at work, Jeff uh, really excelled. Now as soon as I realized that this relationship may manifest itself into something bigger, I started looking at Jeff differently. And I'm thinking, okay, if he can project manage the world's largest security system, he can probably project manage my daughter. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! You look amazing. Oh, let me look at the grass. That's so awesome! You have taught me so much about what's important in life and how to be a good person. I was pretty good before, but I'm better now. I agree. You show me, <laughs> you show me constant kindness and are my number one supporter. Everyone, especially me, finds you entirely delightful to be around. You make me laugh and are the person I can be most myself around. I promise to always care for you and for those you care about. I promise to be strong for you when you need it. Just like you're strong for me every day, I will be your light at the end of the tunnel and your greatest comfort. Nikki. Standing here today, I don't know if I have the perfect words to say that will tell you just how special you are to me. As we navigate this life together, I vow to be the best teammate you have ever had. I will always work to love and care for you. I will work to push you to be a better player, and I hope you will continue to push me as well. I'm so happy that my life has led me to you. I love you very much, Nikki, and you're so special to me. To also quote from one of our favorite television shows, Parks and Recreation, I love you and I like you. <laughs> I, Jeff, take you, Nikki, to continue to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Nikki, take you, Jeff, to continue to be my lawfully wedded husband.
Cheers to Jeff and Nikki. May their marriage be evergreen. Cheers.